So what's up guys, Kenny's Gaming and we're gonna give our top fruit, devil fruit for Black's Fruit Update 17 Part 3. By the way guys, before we proceed, please join our Discord link down below. So let's get started with our first fruit in the TRD list. First of all, we have the Kilo Fruit. A natural type Black's Fruit can be purchased for 50 Robux or 500 thousand bucks but the problem is even though it's cheaper it's not recommended for grinding or pvp big lacks more damage mobility we have it here in our tier d list now we have the next fruit which is the spin fruit again it's a natural black fruit type that costs 70 robux or 7500 belly but the problem is since it's cheaper it has low transportation ability but it is best for beginners. So if you're new to Black Fruit and you don't have any friends, wow. this is the recommended fruit for you since it's cheaper. Now we have the next fruit, which is the Spring Fruit. It's a natural type Black Fruit with the best mobility skill. Yes, that's the good thing about Spring Fruit. It has good mobility, but it's not recommended for grinding or PvP. Now we have the next TRD fruit, which is Diamond. The, the only good about Diamond is the, it has a good defense buff ability fruit in the game. So it will up, up your defense, but you rather have the Haki to boost your defense rather than uh, uh, obtaining uh, a low damage out fruit like Diamond. Now we have the next fruit which is the smoke. The smoke fruit is the first elemental type in our tier daily. Uh, it's good for beginners be because it requires fewer mastery skills to open up the skills and it's a logia fruit which means you will have a easy time grinding for mobs will not hit you in any way because you will just uh, dodge 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 but it has a low damage output the only good thing about smoke is it lets you travel via flight if you're new to black fruit and you don't have any friends you can use the smoke fruit for pbe grinding mobs now we have the next fruit for our tier d list which is the falcon this is the very first beast type fruit in our tier D list. It costs around 300,000 belly or 650 robux. Even though fruit, this fruit is not useful for grinding and PvP, it is very useful for traveling by a flight. You can fly. Now we have the next fruit from our tier D list. It's the natural type barrier. It costs around 1,200 robux and 800,000 belly but very bad for grinding so pricey for the cost of uh, you know just putting up this mirror bar in front of you now we have the next fruit we have the quick version one a natural black fruit type it has a good damage output a powerful knockback moves but this knockback makes you uh, you know less good for grinding because it takes so much time to kill just one mobs or if you lure them because they will be knocking back away from you now we have the next tier d fruit which is the string fruit guys this fruit is not good for pvp and grinding it has a good damage but overall there are many much much way better fruit than string fruit okay let's go to our next list it's the tier c list now first of all the first fruit in our list in the tier c is bomb fruit for starters good for trolling because just explode you have the self destruct fruit now we have the chop fruit good for grinding guys but it's not recommended for people next is the spike fruit again fun for trolling next the elemental type flame fruit guys it's good for grinding bosses and fighting the sea beasts but anyways you rather have a better fruit than flame fruit version 1 you know honestly um, buddha fruit is much better than now we have the revived fruit guys it has a good combo skills and good mobility along with freezing skills used upon opponents that but we have it in the tier c there are more much much better devil fruit than revive now we have the sand fruit version one good elemental for beginners guys good uh damage stunning but 
again if you're just beginner and you have no friends this is the fruit for you guys because it has a flight skill just like smoke but way better damage now we have then type c guys the tier c the light fruit version one elemental fruit now guys this is the fastest traveling flight fruit in the game uh, when you have it in version 2 this is much much faster than mint b3 it has a good combo and damage output now we have that next fruit guys it's the same fruit it's the light e2 the version 2 of the light fruit for tier c it's good for pvp guys traveling dealing massive damage but again this is this is the version 2 already so next we have the gravity a natural fruit with better hitbox for every move good stun and good range but it is bad for grinding next we have control a natural type fruit good to deal any main or fruit damage guys but it's not for beginners and not good for grinding either because of the combo uh, lag now we have the magma v1 an elemental type fruit that is very useful for grinding and dealing massive damage but the problem is the set skills very very difficult to land a hit in pvp guys now we have the v1 phoenix in our tier c list and this is the last fruit from our tier c guys it has a good healing effects very useful for pvp but the problem is energy consumption now we have the tier b list next up we have the flame b2 a black fruit which causes massive damage has good mobility skills and better option for pb tier flame b2 but it's again it's it's the version 2 it's the final form the fruit so there there are much much way better fruit than this That's, again our next fruit is sun b2 version 2 guys same as flame good potential combo skill good signing for pvp next fruit is the v1 buddha a beast type fruit that can use for grinding and raid bosses again this is the spam mobile fruit in the game when i say spam mobile you just go for the transformation then v1 m1 click grind there you have it you can grind pve and grind raid bosses it's very difficult to use in pvp now we have the next fruit which is the ice fruit an elemental type that costs around 750 robux guys good for your sword user and gun user why because it has this stat effect that can be very useful in pvp guys now we have the love fruit a natural black fruit excels in fast movement with better stat effects guys but there is only one mobility move mm, i don't use love fruit anymore i don't love now we have the rumble v1 for our tier b better useful for raids and grinding boss uh, i don't recommend it in pvp because it's super super hard to aim guys elemental fruit now we have the dark v1 an elemental fruit that is good for grinding with better stun effects that is for tier b now for tier b guys the final fruit will be string v2 a natural type black fruit which is one of the best fruit for pvp with the best potential in combo skill now we go to the next tier the tier a list the first fruit in our tier a list will be the magma v2 an element fruit that is good for grinding bosses and pve raids and deal massive damage now the tier A list will be the best second fruit if you don't have the tier S obviously now we have the second fruit which is the Phoenix V2 a beast type fruit that can be used to deal massive raid bosses damage because of their high damage again large AOE and tanking skills tanking skills means you have more survivability because of the healing powers of Phoenix now we have the second fruit in our tier is the buddha v2 again as i mentioned before this is a good for pve good for grinding raid bosses good for bosses but the problem is that it's very hard to use in pvp because due to the that you are very very big 
uh, you get to hit much way easier than the normal size player. Now we have the Ice B2. An element type fruit guys which is the version to the ice fruit it is re recommended for gun and sword user now we have the next fruit which is the rumble fruit an elemental type black fruit which is good for grinding pvp it has a good stunning skills recommended for sword and gun user now we have the next fruit which is the paw this is a natural type fruit recommended for pvp and sword user but it's not for good for grinding guys. Shears damage, dealing skills, and stun effects. You need to be very, very pro in using Paw Fruit. We have the Quake B2 guys. Uh, high damage abilities, large hit boxes, and combo skill. Good for PvP, but the problem again, it's not very good for grinding. Now we have the next fruit, the Dragon Fruit. A beast type, skillful. Burn effects, perform combos, and deal damage. Better for PvP, but it's not good for grinding. Next, we have the Leopard. Leopard, a beast type expensive fruit. The downside of it is very expensive, guys. You need to purchase 3,000 Robux or 5 million belly. Good for PvP. This is not suitable for beginner's use because of the move set. If you're just new for grinding, you just need to put a logia fruit in your character. Now we have the next fruit, the rubber fruit. The rubber fruit is the fruit of the main character in One Piece, which is he used to turn in rubber man. It's a natural fruit with good stun effects, combo skills, and high burst damage. It's very good for PvP use. Again, this is our last fruit for tier A. This fruit, now we go to the S tier list. First fruit in the list, we have the Venom fruit. A natural type of black fruit with high damage, output, excel, and close range abilities. Good for grinding, bad for beginners. It's good for grinding because of this poison effect. They will get damage. Now the next fruit will be soul fruit in the tier S, guys. This is a natural type of black fruit that is better for dealing massive damage and better to use in PvP. Every move has AoE guys. Every skill set is AoE. But the downside is more mastery requirements is needed to use this skill so you have to grind grind. <laughs> Next fruit is the shadow fruit. An excellent black fruit for PvP guys due to excellent combo skills. Stun effect guys. Now we have the next fruit which is the uh, Dark B2 guys. One of the best fruit in the PvP in the game. Good for grinding. For sword user and gun user. Now we have the super, super top of the list fruit which is the Dove fruit. An elemental fruit that is good one to use to kill bosses. Raid bosses, good for grinding guys. This is also good for PvP. Especially when you have it in V2 guys. You know where you can just combo combo your enemy. Then you know, they will not survive your combo. You just use other fighting style like uh, God Human or uh, Yama Sword. This is just uh, the God. I mean the meta today the the dope root especially b2 guys it's very 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 rare fruit hard to get fruit but it's very good for grinding and pvp so there you have it our tier list blocks fruit update 17 part 3 guys this is kenis gaming please do not forget to like subscribe for more updates Join Discord down below guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.